all right let's turn in our bibles to let's turn in our bibles to the book of john chapter 5 are you ready yeah this is the moment thank you lord hallelujah let me look at him and say there is a there is a miracle with your name attached to it i hope you know that yeah if you've never seen the miracle before you will see one tonight yeah yeah you will see one tonight there's someone that has a trouble hold on now there's someone someone that has a trouble with the ear i'm not sure if it's bringing down pause or it's totally deaf or especially deaf the spirit of god is touching you right now i command that here to be healed in the name of the lord jesus christ i rebook the infirmity in the name of jesus christ thank you father in jesus name a, a lady a lady came with a lump on the body the lump just disappeared check it the lump just disappeared i wanted to check it i wanted to check it check it the lump just disappeared i wanted to check it i wanted to check it the lump just disappeared i wanted to check it praise the lord hallelujah so today i'm talking about recognizing the dealings and the patterns of god in our lives i've already explained to you that in this kind of meetings what what is the importance of recognition the way spiritual things work for you to be able to receive them you must recognize them first so paul says in the book of first corinthians it says concerning spiritual things i wish he said i do not want you to be ignorant you know why because if you are ignorant you will not be able to receive what the spirit of god is doing you won't be able to receive what the spirit of god is doing thank you jesus hallelujah i have a lot of interruptions of the spirit of god there's someone you hear voices you hear voices it stopped right now in jesus name yeah there's a lady you've been bleeding for such a long time and you didn't know but take notes the bleeding has stopped you will just find out that from now to the end of the sermon there will be no bleeding again thank you jesus so the bible says so so we we're discussing about recognizing the dealings and the patterns of god in our lives i said to you about the need for recognition and that's why before i started teaching i said to you that there are several things that you must make sure there are several things you must make sure that you know can happen to you in this meeting i said number one there'll be insight i said number two there'll be renewal number three there will be encounters and demonstrations of the spirit number four there will be healing miracles and breakthroughs and number five there will be impartations prophetic word release number six and there'll be clarity and direction so when we talk about the dealings and the pattern of the of god in our life what does a pattern mean a pattern is a combination of qualities tendencies forming a consistent arrangement what does a pattern mean a pattern is a combination of qualities and tendencies forming a consistent arrangement so now that we understand what a pattern is why is it important for us to recognize the patterns of god in our life let me give an example of patterns um but i can't come but i can't come yeah and any of the grace you can also come I want to watch something just stand just stand it's okay I need that to stand beside you recognizing the patterns of God's dealing with us just stand beside him are both of them wearing clothes are their clothes the same pattern that's what I'm going to although those both of them are wearing clothes the pattern is the same is different this this his own shirt has some kind of vertical pattern our own our own dress seems to have some horizontal pattern you know what pattern does once you understand the pattern of god in your life for example 
if you understand the pattern of the clothes you have when you are dry cleaning it it will affect you yes or no so this is why it is important for us to recognize the pattern of god's dealing in our lives because from person to person the pattern of god is different thank you so the bible says so what is the pattern of god the pattern of god refers to the method the arrangement in which god deals with us relates with us intervenes in our lives and does the miraculous patterns are very powerful let's start from john chapter 5 the bible says this the in verse 2 there is at jerusalem but the sheep market a pool which is called in the hebrew tongue bethesda having five porches in this lay a great multitude of impotent of the blind of the hurt of the widowed waiting for the moving of the water verse 4 for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had the question i want to ask you is this there is no place in the bible that tells us of this operation of the spirit how did these people know this operation of the spirit the way they knew this operation of the spirit was that they were able to observe patterns if you read through the old testament there's no one in the old testament that tells us of a certain pool that certain things used to happen there and one of the things you need to do in your life as a christian is to observe the pattern of god at work in your own life I will give you another example of pattern when you read the ministry of elijah and elisha you will know that the power of god moved through mantles the mantle was a pattern but if you look at the ministry of moses the power of god did not move through mantles it moved through a rod why is it important to understand pattern the reason why it's important to understand pattern it is number one once you understand pattern you will avoid frustration the reason is this for some people god i'm speaking metaphorically for some people god is moving through a mantle but you want to move by a rod because you don't understand the pattern of god in your own life so god is moving by mantles but you are looking at the rod so every time you end up frustrated because you are hoping that the spirit of god will move by a rod meanwhile the operation of the spirit of god in your life is by mantle i, I don't know if you see what i'm saying it's about understanding the patterns of God in our lives. I'll give an example. You know, there's popular theology that if you don't dream, there's something wrong with you spiritually. Have you heard that before? That if you don't dream, I do not agree with that. I will tell you the reason why. Because my master and savior Jesus Christ never had a dream that was recorded. Was he blind spiritually? Nobody could see more into the realm of the spirit like Jesus. And guess what? When you further read the Bible, Apostle Paul was never known for dreaming. But Paul said in the book of Corinthians, in abundance of visions and what? Revelation. That means something. That means something. Paul was saying that for me, I had so much visions and revelation. That means that the dealings of the pattern of guidance with Paul had to do with visions and revelation. But for someone like Joseph, it had to do with that. He had to sleep and he had to dream. The reason why I'm saying so is this. Some of you, the way God speaks to you is through dreams. And you will leave your dream expecting God to speak through you to visions. Meanwhile, the pattern of guidance in your life is a dream. And some people, the way God speaks to them is through visions. They will not be satisfied with vision. They want a dream. There is a pattern of guidance. And you, if you talk to people that are spiritual, Brother Higgins said this. He will tell you that, you know, he saw Jesus Christ a number of times. He heard the audible voice a number of times. But the primarily he was led was through the inward weakness. He said that, that he was primarily led through the inward weakness. It's about understanding the pattern of God in your life. Why is it important to understand the pattern of God? Once you don't understand the pattern of God, you will think that there is delay meanwhile it is process are, are you understand what i'm saying 
Once you don't understand, because you don't understand the pattern of God, you think that something is a delay. Meanwhile, it's not a delay at all. It's part of the process. Nobody sees a woman that is seven months old pregnant and the woman says, I'm tired. Ah, I'm delayed. You know why? Because she understands that by the nature of what she's carrying, until she's nine months, she cannot be due. Some of you have put yourself under pressure, thinking that you are maritally delayed, thinking that you are financially delayed, meanwhile it's a process you are going through the way you are going to know if it's delay or not is by understanding the patterns of god in your life the reason i'm saying so is that a lot of people are frustrated and they wonder why is this not happening and why is this not happening you know you must understand once you understand pattern you understand that what you call rejection is glory I i'm telling you you will understand that what you call rejection is glory the bible says this this is what the bible says that if they the bible says if they had known they would have not crucified him that means they crucified him for the purpose that the ultimate glory may come out when they fired you at war you thought they fired you it was actually god that pushed you to your destiny once you understand it you understand that your life is not a coincidence that there's an orchestration from heaven that is moving things and arranging them say to yourself i'm not a chance of i'm not a child of chance i am a child of destiny glory to god if you understand the workings of god in your life you will understand that it was not a closed door it was a redirection what did they, what, what did joseph say jo, let me show you this genesis chapter 50 verse 20 genesis chapter 50 verse 20 can i be honest to you sometimes in my life when i kneel down and i'm very grateful i'm grateful for the toughest time that i had because i never knew what they will produce but the principle is this i, I know i told you genesis 50 20 just hold on john chapter 12 verse 24 let me show you the principle if i go back into my life I don't want the tough time to come again but i thank god they happened because the amount of change it produced in me it will have not happened if those things did not happen why john chapter 12 verse 2 see what it says except a corn of wheat dies so when you think you are dying if you are just going through a re a what a resurrection process the see that career had to die because something bigger had to come out once you don't understand the pattern of god in your life you will wonder why are so many things happening to me but you are not able to make meaning of those things happening to you because you do not understand the pattern of god in your life look at genesis chapter 50 verse 20. the bible says this time around jacob had died and then um, jacob had died and um genesis chapter 50 verse 20. As a matter of fact, you need to understand this thing now. He said, if they had not crucified the king of glory, some things they throw at you is for your glory. If they did not talk about how bad the attendance was in our previous services, we will not be here. So, when they thought they were throwing stones, we were using the stone to be the house. Because how did we come here today? It was just conversation. Oh, we came for the services. We could not get a seat. A lot of us were outside and this and this and this and say, and we just said, you know, practically, in fact, what really touched me was that one of my very good friends was in church. When we announced wine press, the lady sat to him, said, I'm not coming. And, and about three of them, he said, I'm not coming. He said, I know there will not be space. And so my friend said, what are you doing about this space issue? And I said, wow, is this this serious? Then all of a sudden I went online and someone had done some documentary about how they came to the church and there was no space and someone had sent me some feed i don't know why they did that but the principle is this if they had known they would have not crucified the king of glory so all the things they thought they would say i mean they could have said it from a good place but also all the things they thought they would say that could be negative god used the negativity to bring us to where we are what am i saying to you once you understand the pattern of God, you don't break down when things are negative. You'll go into your private and say, Father, thank you. Because out of nothing, you brought us something. 
the principle of god is this god that called light out of darkness so whenever is negative there's a pattern that out of negativity god can call out light so doctor says you have cancer i said doctor thank you because out of the negative cancer case you will call out healing they say you cannot have a child you say doctor i've heard you you say out of the barrenness i will call out a child out of the business loss i will call out a miracle somebody say amen are you here if you're here shout hallelujah Genesis chapter 50 verse 20. And this is a power. The reason why is that once you understand the pattern of God in your life, when others are shaking that things are going on, you relax. You say, I've been here before. I know how this goes. I know where it ends because I've seen the pattern of grace in my life. One of our pastors was telling me something. He said, Pastor Bola, you know what I've noticed? I've been with you for some years now. He said, when people try to fight you and pull you down, he said after one or two years he said you grow so big they can't touch you again i looked at him i said wow you're very observant that you've you've signed you've seen the pattern genesis chapter 50 verse 20 i want to look at this the bible says this let's read from verse 19 and joseph said unto them fear not for am i in the place of god his brother thought he was going to revenge on them but see what Peter say but what but as for you ye thought evil against me but god meant it unto good meaning that as you were planning to refuse and deny me that's your plan god was using you that's why let me tell you something when things go wrong in your life one of the worst things you can do is to start talking nonsense once you talk nonsense you confirm what is going wrong what do you do you enter into your closet you go on your knees and I say, Father, I thank you because you are still in control. Even from this moment, it can be a testimony. And guess what happens? When God steps in, everything changes. Are you here? But what you do, and let me, uh, uh, you need to understand patterns. How many of you have had a breakthrough in your life before? A breakthrough in your health, in your finance, you've had a breakthrough. If you're sure, I want three people to stand up. Three, stand up. You've had a breakthrough. You can, I mean, some, some of us can say, what area? In your career? What area? Finances? What area? Marriage and children. All of you that are standing up, watch, listen to me. Did you notice that your breakthrough started with pain and discomfort? Yes or no? Because pain and discomfort are the raw material for the miraculous. If you understand that your breakthrough started with pain and discomfort, when there's pain and discomfort again, why do you break down? The reason why you break down is that because you've not observed the pattern. If you observe the pattern, you will say, Ha! But I started again. Because this is how we always start. Listen to me. What you call pain and discomfort is transition pain. The Bible says as soon as Zion traveled. The reason why you feel pain is because there's a change of level. So there is a travail of a change of level in the spirit. So as soon as Zion traveled, she gave birth. So imagine everybody here. They are standing and testifying and saying that it's true. That the first thing that happened to me is pain the reason why you so when you see pain now or you see discomfort you're not angry you say come i love you because it means that another level is at hand when a pregnant woman feels the pains of childbirth she doesn't hate it she says i'm in transition and something that i carry is about to come out some of you have moved into certain situations because there's something that you carry that is about to what come out the reason why your mother will call you and insult you that you're single and she has been insulting your life but it has never entered before but the one she did generally entered in a special way the reason why it entered was because you are in transition so the pain is carrying meaning that your marriage is just around the corner if you're the one i'm talking to shout i receive it 
You can have your seat, please. Glory to God. So what did he say? This is how you need to recognize the patterns of God in your life. He says, But as for you, what you thought, what you thought evil against me, he said, God meant it for good and brought it to pass at its Easter day to save much people. The question I want to ask you is this. Are you able to deduce the workings of God in your life? That's what I'm going to. And able to understand the pattern of grace at work in your life. Why is it important for us to understand pattern? Number one, to avoid frustration. The second reason why it's important for us to avoid pattern is this. For us not to miss visitation. So there are certain people, there are certain people, I'll give you just some powerful testimony yesterday. I met a man last year and we had one or two conversations. I met him in a large conference like this. I was not the speaker, but I met him in the conference. He was sitting close to me. We had two conversations, just one line. And in the conclusion, he said, I would like to have your number. And he says, this is my number. And we exchange numbers, but I never remembered his name. The only reason why I even remember his name is because his son name links one of our pastors. Okay, so that happened. So yesterday when I woke up, I want to show you the power of pattern. And the reason I'm showing the power of pattern is that when God begins to walk in this place so that you can recognize it. Because recognizing it will help you receive it. So when I woke up yesterday about 3 a.m., I just saw his picture in front of me. Not like a vision, no, just a picture just flashed in front of me. And I just said that, oh, this, oh, this brother, wow, such a great brother. And I forgot it. Then I was coming to preach at about eight something. I was on the table just looking at my notes as I was coming to preach yesterday morning in the pastor's conference. Then his picture came up before me again. I, and this time around, I remembered his name because when I saw him, morning, I didn't remember his name. I remembered his name. I said, ah. I said, oh, this brother, now I remember his name because when I saw him in the morning, I didn't remember his name. I said, this brother, and I forgot it. And when I did that, I moved to the next thing, read my Bible. And the Spirit of God said, and I said, wait. How am I thinking about someone that I do not know? And I thought about two eyes in six hours. I said, the Spirit of God, are you telling me something? I said, I'm telling you something. I said, he said, call him and tell him this is the word for him. And I called him and I called him. It was just two minutes to take a flight. And I said, the Spirit of God said, one, two, three, four. He just said, Pastor, he said, speaking in tongues. This is a multi bid on here. He said, speaking in tongues. Thank you. He said, I'm about to fly right now. When I land, I will call you. 12 hours after he called me, he said, sir, did you know about my challenges? I said, I don't even know what to do. I said, what do you mean? He said, I'm in this industry. He said, Saturday, something happened in the media that throws into an attack. And right now, I'm trying to solve it, but has gone crazy. I said, really? He said, in fact, when I told my wife that you called me, my wife said, maybe you saw publications around me. I said, first of all, I don't know your full name. I don't know what you do. I don't know how you do what you do. He said, and I said, you know why God did that? God used someone that you don't that doesn't know you at all so that the prophetic word can be well believed now the reason I'm saying so is this you must understand because in this meeting I can call you aha uh -huh. as you are here you have submitted to the Holy Ghost yeah. you are submitted to the Holy Ghost aha uh -huh. praise the Lord and what you know one time someone had said that someone told me said that I, the neighbor said so my he said so my friend came to tell you all about me i said i've never seen your friend before don't you the person comes to church i said everything i said was about the spirit of god but this why i was saying that why was i saying that the reason why i did not lose that word of prophecy to help that person was simply because i'd recognized the patterns of god in my life a lot of you that say you don't hear the voice of god you know what i disagree with you you actually hear the voice of God. You are just not able to decipher, discern, and recognize the leading of God in your life. Because the voice of God comes so simple, you don't know God has spoken to you. It comes so simple, you don't know God has spoken to you. It's so simple. Something will just tell you that you are healed. And you don't understand that that's the spirit of God that ministered to you. And the healing is there. Someone will just tell you that this is the breakthrough. And you will not understand that how the Spirit of God ministered to you. And you miss the moment. The way the pattern works is this. 
once the water is there the first person that jumps into it are you here are you here once the water is dead and there are moments like that when the water is dead you just jump into it and i'm saying it not just in the context of the service i'm saying in the context of career marketplace you are doing this kind of business and you will just feel it that a water of opportunity is dead for you if you wait you will miss it what the spirit of god wants you to do is to jump into it one of the things that will happen to you as I preach it is because I'm ministering to you under the unction. You will be getting inspirations beyond what I'm saying. You will. Getting inspiration beyond what I'm saying. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So why is it important to understand pattern? So that you don't miss the visitations of God. Maybe the last reason I should say about understanding pattern is this. Once you understand pattern, you can initiate it. The best story to say this is a story, is a story of Samson. The Bible says, and Samson shook himself. The reason why is that Samson had come to know the anointing of the Spirit of God. And he knew that if he conducted himself in a such a manner, the anointing will come upon him. You know, in physics, when people understand the laws of physics, they use it to make products. Are you getting me? Because they understand the law of physics. Once you understand patterns, once you understand patterns, you will just find out that, oh wow, Ah, thank you Jesus instead of doing I know what to do to make the power flow that's why when the woman that was in debt went to meet Elisha he says I need he said I'm in trouble Elisha said what do you have the pattern of provision is that you must have something because the Bible says God ministers seed to the sower and bread to the eater so there must be something available because God will not multiply nothing God will multiply what you have Are you here? There are patterns. There's, I can tell easily when someone will be spiritually attacked. You can see the pattern of demonic attack. When you read the Bible, you see someone said that there are patterns of demonic attack. I will give you the pattern. Number one, when people are, if you see people that attacked under demonic influence, the first thing you notice is ignorance. That's what the Bible says in Second Corinthians two verse eleven. Look at it. Second Corinthians. This is how you know when, and that's why. When you talk to them, they are not even aware they are under demonic influence. Second Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. Look at this. He says, Lest Satan should get advantage of us for what we are not. So, everywhere there's ignorance, Satan takes advantage of people. One of the patterns of spiritual attack is ignorance. Another pattern of spiritual attack is this. And many of you might not know this. When the devil wants to attack you, it will just throw into confusion. Second, watch this. James chapter three, verse sixteen. James three sixteen. See what the Bible says. The Bible says, says he says James chapter three, verse sixteen. Do you have it? James chapter three, verse sixteen. I'm just showing you patterns. See what the Bible says. For where there is envy and strife, there's confusion, and there's what every every evil walk. So when Satan wants to destroy a business, it brings in confusion you think that it's just ordinary confusion is using that confusion to open doors to demonic attack i was reading a documentary recently and they were talking about some kids that were born with certain kind of deformities and they did a study and the study said kids that when they were pregnant their parents fought a lot during the pregnancy that they are always born with a certain type of deformity this is not bible say oh, medical papers people don't parents don't understand that in those formative stage in the embryo that if you allow confusion rain satan steps in and attacks the child so they big birth to the child and the child has a certain syndrome just because at the formative stage when the life was young and tender something opened and many of you you think you are confused about your career you don't understand that your career is under attack 
that that confession is the indication that your career is under attack. That's what the Bible says in 1 Corinthians. It says, God is not the offer of confusion. I pray for everyone here that is under the spell of confusion. I said, this day you are coming out of it. From this conference, you will have clarity. From this conference, you will have clarity. There will be no more confusion. You will know what to do. You will know how to do it. You will know with whom to do it. In the name of Jesus Christ, shout I receive it. Glory to God. When you see people under demonic, you know I'm giving you patterns. I said the first pattern of demonic attack is what? Ignorance. The second one is what? Confusion. The third one is what? Evil communication. It's very simple. The Bible says evil communication corrupts good manners. So when Satan wants to destroy somebody, you begin to hear and you begin to say evil things. Brother Hagin, Brother Hagin went to pray for a certain man. He was of a certain age. And when he prayed, Brother Hagin said, when I prayed for him, I felt the healing power of God flow through my hands to touch him. And the power of God flowed right back into my hands. And I said, what is wrong? And God said to him, certain things has been said that cannot be reversed again because laws have spoken laws and words have been spoken that cannot be reversed again so eventually the man died but again went to see the wife and said when your husband was sick and i came to pray this was what i experienced the wife said i know what you mean reverend Hagen." he said what do you mean he said my husband was 40 years old his father died at 40 his grandfather died at 40 his older brother died at 40. he used to tell me when we married he said, let us have children on time because I will die at 40. And because he had said that all his life, that's exactly what happened to him. And you don't understand. The moment, you need to watch your communication because Satan has the power to suggest words, not put words, suggest words to you. And the moment you begin to say it, you know you are, you are saying, oh, oh, marry me. You are under attack already. You say, there's nothing I do that work. You are, something is working already. Because that communication, the Bible already says, evil communication corrupts good manners. Glory to God. The other pattern of people under demonic attack is fear. And you know, a lot of you here are believing God to get married. But if you're afraid you'll die single, it's what you fear that will happen. The reason why is that fear has a more potent it, it the feeling is stronger than the feeling of it and you gravitate towards it what did job say job says the things i've greatly feared has eventually happened to me what you should do is that you must find a way to sink your fear yeah. you just have a feeling that i will not do well in life god will touch people he will not touch me and you wonder and the thing is that why do you feel that way you feel that way because of other things glory to god i say glory to god so we got to talk about recognizing the pattern of god and the reason i'm saying this is that if this pattern are in your life you can begin to do something about it let me share with you patterns of breakthrough i, I began to share it but i didn't explain that that was, was sharing patterns of breakthrough once people are going to break through, the first thing you notice is that you will be in discomfort and pain. Same scripture, John chapter 12, verse 24. Except a corn of wheat dies, the process of death is painful. So this is what happens to you. All your life you have been single. You will just start getting irritated by your singleness. And the reason why is that God needs that discomfort to push you into destiny. Because if you don't feel the discomfort, you will not be pushed. Sometimes it's the fact that you are doing business. You have done, and you will notice what I'm saying. You've done 100 million in business every year. But you just feel like, I'm tired of 100 million. And the reason why you're tired of 100 million is because you are at a tipping point. So there are signals your spirit is receiving, saying that, 
although 100 million is good you should not be at this place again so hence comes the frustration and the frustration is what is eventually going to lead to death so john chapter 12 verse 24 says except a corn of wheat dies so the first thing you will notice is it and read through the bible there will be that discomfort there will be that pain if you are in that place of discomfort and pain congratulations because you are just on the first step to break through the challenge is that when you're in that situation you can begin to look and think that that will be your future but the pain is not your future your breakthrough is just around the corner read to the bible well, i'm telling you read to the bible so you feel this comfort then the next thing that happens is this you begin to have failed attempts to prosper failed attempts you work hard to not work you work hard to not work you will think it's not working but this is what is happening every time you walk it doesn't work you're getting nearer to it every time it's walk it doesn't work you're getting nearer to it what happens to people why they eventually fail is this there are two steps to what they should learn but they stop it that way so you had this relationship that broke your heart after four years i said i will never love again meanwhile that was the final lesson you need for love because the next person is the real person that's coming but you gave up are you seeing what i'm saying you give up you say, uh, you finally got pregnant after been trying to have a baby you lost the baby and instead of you to tell yourself that thank you jesus now i can see that the journey has started you begin to blame yourself and begin to lose faith in god there's a testimony i always share in our church a lady in our church had done IVS a couple of times, never got pregnant. Eventually, she got pregnant. And when she got pregnant, I'm not sure if it was three or six months into pregnancy, she lost the pregnancy. I remember getting a call and saying to me that I feel like killing myself. Everything is over and this and this and this. And I felt the pain because of how much they've spent on IVF. And I just said, I'm sorry and consoled her. As I prayed for her, the Spirit of God spoke to me. He said go back and tell her he said ask her if she has gotten pregnant before despite all the ivs the answer is no she has never gotten pregnant before good ask her that has she not made advancement by getting pregnant now i said yes let her go into thanksgiving for what has been done and what has not been done will be perfected and i've explained to you before in mark chapter 4 the principle of this first the air then the blade and the full corn in the air what is the air once you plant a seed the air is what grows at first it's not what you want but it's the proof that what you planted are still working so you prayed for finances you prayed for 10 million someone came and gave 50,000 naira. 50,000 is not what you want but it's the proof that your prayers are still working what happens to people is this once they see the air you know what they do they go and say Lord, I'm praying for 50,000. I'm praying for 10 million. You sent me 50,000. With their mouth, they choke the air. What happens is that they are praying for a relationship. One whole year, nobody have toasted them. Eventually, after praying, three months, one guy comes up and says, Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? They look at the guy from head to toe. They say, This one. They say, This one. And they hiss. They do not realize that they just hissed at the air what do you do when you see the air you go to god in prayer father i can see that the work has started <laughs> glory to god you have been applying for jobs for years and years and years and years you know and nobody has ever responded to you finally you got one response and say come for an interview and when you came they you did two levels and they failed you and you say what is this nonsense you know, and I'm telling this story because this is a very personal thing to me. Very, very personal. My sister lives in, um, my sister lives in Georgia. In Atlanta specifically. And um, during COVID, she had finished her second master's. And um, she was meant to, she was meant to get a job. And she had, just after COVID, she had applied for, I think, six or eight, six months period. She couldn't get that job. Nobody even contacted her back. She called me. He said, I told her I have a problem. I said, what do you mean? He said, I need, he said, I need prayers. 
I said, what do you, he said that nobody has, I said, okay, let's pray. So we prayed. When we prayed, three months, two months after she called me, she said, when I called you two months ago, I need, I told her I want deliverance. I said, what's the problem? He said, after we prayed, 10 companies called me for interviews, but nobody employed me. He said, can you say I need deliverance right now? I looked at her and I said, wow, you see, ignorance. You don't understand the scriptures. And I said to her, before we prayed, you did over 500 applications. Nobody called you back. We prayed. 10, 10 called you back to interview you, but nobody employed you. And now you think that a Satan is winning, that is not God. I said, that's not how it works. How it works is first the air. The air is the manifestation that shows that God is working on it. It's not your full testimony. He now says, then then the blade. The blade is an advanced state that God is working. Then the third one says, the full corn in the air. What does that mean? So I told her. I said, my sister, you don't need deliverance. Let me show you what to do. When things like this happen, you water your air with thanksgiving. You water it what? With thanksgiving. I said, let's pray. Over the phone, I said, begin to thank God. That Father, you have started it. That the hand of Zerubbabel that have started it will also finish it. I give you praise because being confident of this very thing, that he that has begun the good work in me will what will complete it to the name of Jesus Christ. It says, Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. He said, The Lord will perfect all that concerneth me. We lifted our voice in fencing and shouted and rejoiced. Within one month, she got the job. Within one month, she got the job. When she got the job, the job salary was so fantastic, she couldn't believe it. Six figures in dollars. The six figures in dollars. They told her, they said, because you are moving to Atlanta, we want to give you an extra things of thousands of dollars to migrate you to Atlanta. You know, and she was wondering what's going on. She called me back. He said, is this how it works? I said, this is how it works. Because these are the operations of the Spirit. You must understand. It's first the air, then the blade and the full corn in the air. One of my closest friends, and my wife can tell you this. I'm sure they are watching right now. I, you know, one of my closest friends, the wife was not able to have a child. They joined Next Level. The wife began to say, told the husband, I'm going for deliverance. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. He said, he said, but Pastor Malachi is your friend. Take me to your friend. Tell him to pray for me. So I saw how she was going. She was panicking, doing a lot. So I called her. I said, this is it. Let me work with you for three months. If you don't go pregnant, go anywhere you want to go to. She said, that's fine. So I began to give her some assignment to what she must do by herself. The first month, she didn't get pregnant. The second month, her period was delayed. How did I know? Her period was meant to come maybe on the 5th. It came on the 8th. She just texted me, I'm down. I told her, you're down. I said, because my period was coming to come on the 5th. He said, when I didn't see it on the 5th, between maybe 3rd and 5th, I thought I was pregnant. Only for me to see it on the 8th. And I said, that's the problem. The period is delayed. The power is working. Go into Thanksgiving and thank him for it. She said, okay. He said, but I feel very down. The third month also, you know, the period came on the 8th. The third month, the period came on the 12th. It was a week after, but she had learned. Go into the place and do Thanksgiving. She thanked God. By the fourth month, when the period should come, she found out she was pregnant. Right now, she's carrying a baby child. The principle is this first let me show you mark chapter 4 i want to show you quickly then i will come to the story of the lady mark chapter 4 verse 28 for the earth bringeth forth it says this is the way god this is the way the earth brings forth this is god's method of production he said the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself but how does it bring forth fruit first the blade it says then the air and after that the full corn in the air what kills most christian is this when the blade shows up we use our mouth to destroy it i'm praying for a boyfriend is it this kind of person i prayed for 10 million you are giving me 50 000. what is 50 000 in 10 million and god will say since you can create 50 000, create the rest and that's how many of us have missed it so this lady, I called her back and I said, I understand you've done many IVFs, but this is the first one you got pregnant. And I asked her, have you been pregnant before? He said, Pastor, you know I've not been pregnant before. He said, that's why it's very painful. I said, go to God in prayer. Begin to thank God that Lord, at least I can get pregnant. At least you've done something for me. Begin to rejoice. She went into Thanksgiving. Three months after, between that period, she got pregnant. 
and when she got pregnant she had twins first the blade then the air and what the full corner in the air i want you to stand on your feet right now lift up your hands towards heaven and thank him for the blade lift up your hands towards heaven and thank him for the air lift up your hands towards heaven and thank him for the full corner in the air go ahead and thank him everybody go ahead and thank him go ahead and thank him go ahead and thank him from the deep place of appreciation go ahead and thank him go ahead and thank him oh shanda legone lebora sakata liga rasu balante koneata hasha in the center where you are go ahead and thank him all of you online stand on your feet and go ahead and thank him go ahead and thank him go ahead and thank him Thank you, Lord. In Jesus, then we pray. Amen. Will you shout a big amen? amen? Please have your seat and let me finish that we'll pray. So, what is the pattern of breakthrough? Number one, there will be discomfort, there will be failed pursuit attempts. Then, this is what you will notice else there will be this new insight that will come into you. There will just be new insight. It's just come. Sometimes it will be a friend that is talking. It will just open your eyes to something. And you will see things in a way that you did not used to see them before. Because that conversation was what? An answer to prayer. Why is it important? And I'm saying this because a lot of you are here praying for clarity. Asking God for the next thing you should do about a situation about a challenge and what god wants you to do is to understand the pattern of god in your life i'll give an example if you are below 18 and you don't have savings it's not a big deal yes or no because by pattern at that age if you have or not it's not a big deal there are some of you what you are troubled about by pattern you are, you don't you should not be troubled about it right now And that's why I want to close on something. I don't know about the final pattern. I was talking about the pattern of breakthrough. I was talking about the pattern of attacks. Just like when it comes to pattern of marriage, there's a pattern. When you look at people that got married in the Bible, you will notice that they did a random act of kindness. Look at it from Rebecca to Ruth. They were not kind to the person they thought they would marry, they were just kind. And God used that kindness mysteriously to bring them their spouse. Because we have a generation that says the more attractive you are, the more, the more you will not be kind. You will notice the pattern that the people that want to marry, God led them to strategic relationships that was essential to their marriage. Because you are praying, but you need to understand the pattern of grace in your life. We had a testimony, I don't know if you shared it, the lady that was 40 years old and got married. He said, it was my mother. There was a, the mother has always been there, but the hand of God came on her for that reason. So as you are praying for marriage, you need to ask yourself, what is the strategic relationship with this person here to guide and to connect me this season? But what I must do first is to practice mighty act of kindness. So when Rebecca began to feed the servant, of course, everybody knew it was a servant. He did not know feeding the servant and the animal would link him to the husband Isaac. When Rachel went to the stream to fetch water, he did not realize that would link him to Jacob. The pattern of guidance. Someone says, how do I know God is leading me? It's very simple. God's guidance comes with peace. Yeah. God's guidance comes with peace. That thing you said God led you to do, have you found peace in it? 
and that's why one of the things you must do to recognize God's guidance is to understand how God speaks to you you must understand every Christian must understand how God speaks to you you must understand living without knowing the voice of God is living in danger zone living without knowing the voice of God is living in danger God it's a good idea is he a God idea because not all doors are God's doors some doors are trash from hell not all doors are God's doors but some doors are traps of Satan and unfortunately many people have entered one chance and they entered because their eyes and ears could not discern what God is saying there's a prayer we pray in NLP may foolishness not look like wisdom to you and the reason why I say so is that people make decisions that ruin their destiny at the time they make it it was a great decision until their destiny has been totally destroyed everyone under the sound of my voice on the wrong path receive grace for redirection receive grace for redirection receive grace for redirection you will not make investment that will ruin your business you will not make decision that will ruin your marriage that will ruin your children God will preserve you if you believe shout amen one of the biggest assets of every child of God is hearing the voice of God every child is traveling must your child travel some children travel and they send back their dead body you don't train up the child in the way economy goes you train him up in the way he should go based on heaven's record what have you heard the pattern of guidance everyone is doing carpentry is that where your gift is money is not in carpentry it says either tillet is land shall find gold you don't have problem the point is that you keep copying but you are born and original don't die a duplicate this is a mountain of hearing sir this is a mountain of hearing everything you need to hear for this year i said the spirit of god will download it to you everything you need to hear for this year the spirit of god will download it to you whatever you need to see the stolen parota ember kush and porosa anything you need to see for your next face begin to see it right now in the name of jesus thank you lord how does god guide us through peace someone says did god speak to you sometimes he's not he's speaking just peace and i'm saying so because you must understand the pattern of guidance in your life anyone that does not have spiritual guidance will be lost in this world how do you know what next to do how do you know what to do it with how do you know how to do it one of the biggest assets a child of God has is the ability to hear the Lord to know that this is what the Lord said not too long ago my wife had engaged a house staff and we're just checking not engaged but I mean in the in the process so I just came home from church and I just just walked into the kitchen I saw him there and I just told my wife this guy has a demonic spirit I said what did you see I said I told over him and I said this is I said this is he, this is it because as I saw him the eyes of my understanding was opened many of you once they want to partner with you once they have money you partner but what you don't know are the other things that come with the partnership I know a man like that, he partnered with someone because it was a good deal. 
what he didn't know was that the company they partnered to was in debt and the man that looked rich was really poor and when they partnered because the guy had declared bankruptcy he now had to pay all the debt in the US he said he spent the first five years of his life paying what he did not know there's more than meets the eyes more than the fact that he drives a nice car he must be a good guy He said the lord is my shepherd i should know he leads me beside the still water he leads me beside the still water he leads me if there's something you must take from here is god speaking to you about this year is god showing you what to do about this year a christian that does not hear is disadvantaged sir The beauty of hearing is this when anything go wrong you can go back to god and say father i didn't choose this you let me hear you let me hear you are the shepherd that does not abandon now i'm here do your work very few people can say that and that's when they get into the into into mess they say lord i know i did what i wanted have mercy Some people travel abroad and the way they pray is different. They say, Father, you sent me here. Not that I got approval. And you said, anywhere the sole of my feet shall step upon, I possess it. So, I didn't come like they all came to the UK. No, some of us were sent. I didn't come as they all came to the US. Some of us were established. We were sent like Joseph. The pattern of God's guidance. Peace. Someone says, How do I know God is speaking to me? It's very simple. Whatever you think God is speaking to you about, pray and worship God. Have it in your mind. If it's what God wants, as you pray and worship, it becomes stronger and stronger. If it's the, word of, if it's the voice of the devil, it becomes what? Weaker and weaker. Because flesh cannot glory in his presence. Are you here so before you go into the partnership can we take a minute to pray before you say yes to the proposal can we take a minute to pray you don't date and say i will pray about it no sir you pray about it before you date you don't apply for green card and say i will pray no before you apply for the pr you pray it's because sometimes the result of your visa application is not prayer it's good papers And it's more tempting to say no when you already have an approval. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. So the patterns of guidance, because we're going to talk about patterns, patterns of breakthrough, patterns of attacks, patterns of guidance. Number one, guidance, God's guidance comes with peace. Number two, guidance comes to those that recognize it. So people are always asking me this question how can i know the voice of god it's a very simple thing the voice that interpret the bible to you if you know the voice you will know the voice of god the way we've become familiar with the voice of god is to pay attention to the voice that what interprets scriptures to us so once you don't know the voice in the word you can't know it in your heart glory to god the third thing about guidance is this emotion can distort guidance when your emotions are strong about something you may never hear what god is saying because emotion can color it emotions can what color it sometimes fear can color it sometimes desires can color it sometimes lust can color it how do you have guidance pay attention to gateways you know some of you think that god will speak from heaven which that's not how it happens sometimes sometimes just a friend has a conversation and through that conversation god will speak to you thank you lord hallelujah one of the things you want to have happen to you these three days is clear guidance 
to come out of a right relationship to enter into the out of the wrong relationship and enter into the right one to partner with the wrong right person to be at the right place at the right time did you read that scripture about the hebrew children the sorry the three stars Matthew chapter 2 let me look at it for you quickly that's my life scripture oh glory to god Matthew chapter 2 i want to read from the message translation Matthew chapter 2, I think it's verse 10. Let me read from the message translation. Message translation. We're going to pray just now. Matthew chapter 2, verse 10. Are you there? Oh, you have it thank you okay let's see from verse 9 instructed by the king they set up these are the wise men then the stars appeared the game and the same star they had seen in the eastern sky it led them on until it over all over the place it, it until it over over the place of the child and they could hardly contain themselves let's read the next thing together let's read on the screen for they were what they were in the right place and they had arrived at what What a phrase they were in the right place and they had arrived at the right time that means that when they are talking about who to give the contract you'll be in the right place and at the right time when they are thinking of who to favor with that funding you will be in the right place and at the right time wow at the right place at the right time stand on your feet